Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Braid One. So as I tweeted a few weeks ago or days ago, the RX 570 series and RX 580 series have been released yesterday on the 18th of April all over the world. And the RX 570 of MSI over here, you can see it, is only $200. So this card is pretty much worth it buying over a RX 470 at this very moment because they have about the same price. And I would go for the RX 570 because this card has a really high core clock speed. So what does the core clock speed do? You can mine different coins like Monero, Zcash, Pascal coin, Decred more fastly than with a RX 470. The only disadvantage on this card is that it has an 8 pin connector. So that also means that it will draw more power, but they said it's going to be a more efficient chip. The only thing that doesn't change about these cards compared to the RX 470s and RX 480s is the memory type. So we should have the same memory types, Samsung, Elpida, Hynix and Micron. So hopefully this all works out and we are able to do everything we want on this card. But the Asus RX 580 8GB seems to be pretty overpriced for its uh, increase in performance. So it only has a 7% performance improvement over the reference cards. But this core boosted clock is pretty expensive because if you just buy a RX 480 of Asus ROG Strix, you are just paying $240 and this new card is $320. So I'm not really sure if this is really worth the price because all the RX 580s are around $300 price ranges. So we need to look at that later on too when I have the cards myself. But also I discovered something that may be a myth. So on Twitter, Edwin uh, told me about one of Flasher RX 470 towards a 570. So it seems to be that someone managed to flash his RX 470 to a 570 with just using the bias of the RX 570. So I just took a look at what happened over here. So he was like, okay, fuck it. I'm just going to go ahead and use ADI flash and just flash it towards the 470 Sapphire Nitro from my Nitro 570. So it's pretty weird that he did this, but the benchmark of the Radeon RX 570, as you can see here, scored a 3991 and the graphics card just hit 3902 so the difference is only 90 points and as you know all gpus are slightly different so this is possible but they only said that the temperature of this card was uh, more hot than the usual rx 470 should be because the core clock speed of this card suddenly was 1300 megahertz too but that's the advantage of the 8-pin connector. So if you only have a 6-pin connector, it's not really divided so uh, efficient over the GPU core as if you put in an 8-core, 8-pin uh, 8 connector into your card. So that was really the only difference that happened. So your card can get pretty hot. So it is possible and this is still a myth. So I cannot confirm it for you guys. But if this is possible, why would we even buy 570s if it's really easy to flash your RX 470s and RX 480s towards the 500 series. So hopefully this is going to be a future video and it's thanks to Big my Main House that we are ready to do this. So I'm going to try this later on too with my cards and see what's happening over there. Also, one of my subscribers said like, hey, we could use a blockchain community on Discord and I'm going to put the link in the description below so you guys can do whatever you want with it and just go ahead and talk to each other, help each other out and do whatever you want. So hopefully this is going to be whatever you want to do there. And sometimes I will hop in and try to answer some questions too. So make sure you are connected to the blockchain community. Hope you all enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one.